folks, you may have heard a rumor that I have passed away, that beer had finally gotten to my liver, that I couldn't pull through. Well, as you can tell, that was not true. I am alive and kicking. Life's going good, and you know what we need to do. Get the party started, yeah! Uh, that beer sprayed everywhere. I, I don't think I got that on camera. I'm pretty bad at that, getting it on camera. Let me tell you what it is hot as hell, not as hot as Texas. It's a little bit of an update why I've been gone, why I haven't gotten a video from me. One, there was gnats, so I didn't have any time to upload or make any videos. Two, uh, I caught the flu the day before I headed to Dallas. So uh, I was extremely sick at Nats. I didn't even play on Sunday. I played the main event Saturday sick as fuck. I couldn't talk to anybody. I couldn't. It sucked because I, I play guys from across the country. How often does a guy from Ravensdale play somebody from New York, New York, or Miami, or Chicago, or Hartford, Connecticut, you know? And I went uh, five and four. Um, you know, and play nothing but meta with Sky Striker. I play Sky Striker Trickstar. And I lost, I only bricked once, round nine. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. It's going to be a long video if I went through the whole thing. Plus, it's been a couple weeks. But, you know, I lost some really tough games that just things didn't work out in my favor. I only played one obnoxious guy, and he, of course, beat me barely. I played against another obnoxious guy, but I beat him pretty bad, so I don't really care, you know. Um, the one guy who beat me that was really obnoxious, every time, like, he... It was a mirror match. He was playing Trick Star, Sky Striker, and every single time he would uh, make a play. Every time I would like draw, like say my draw phase, I draw a card for my draw phase, and he'd be like, "Is it my turn?" No, dude, it's not your turn. I play Candina. Is it my turn? No, it's not your turn. Wait till I say end phase go. Then he his turn would happen, and he'd take his sweet ass time. You know what I'm saying? And it was just annoying. You know, just stupid. Another reason I haven't been able to do any videos is my life's been very busy. I, it took a while for me to get over that. Um, but my life's very busy right now. My girlfriend moved into my house, so she's a full-time girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? So she's with me all the time. She's not here right now. Um, her dogs are here, which I love to death. You may hear them panting. But um, anyways... Um, they, they're my audience, I guess, filming this thing. Uh, also, I've been busy at work. I uh, haven't had much time off since getting back from Nats. I did play Locals last weekend, a couple days ago now. I went 4-0, uh, so that's good. Probably be the last time I ever play Trick Stars, just letting you all know. Because something big, something dangerous is coming in... Uh, uh, cybernetic Horizon. Anyways, I got a sponsor I'm to get to before we get to the video. You already know I'm open if you read the title. My sponsor, you may remember this sponsor from a few videos ago. Proud to have the sponsor, even though I never hardly go there, but I've been going there lately just to see what's going on in the locals. It's the Flaming Boar Tavern. Yeah, they're back, and this time they got a new thing called Flaming Boar Daycare. Yeah, how many of you have kids that are over 21? Probably a few of you. Man. I get about 30 views on this, so one of you has got to have children and be over 21. Uh, so if you want to go to the bar late at night, you got to have a way to drop your kids off with somebody. And a lot of times your parents or your wife's parents or whoever you know you had kids with, they ain't going to take them late at night. Like, dude, you got to let me know. you got to let me have them for the whole damn weekend. Dogs always make weird noises. But anyways... So, Flaming Boar, notice they're getting less patrons because they're all having kids and they can't go to the bar because you can't bring minors into the bar. you got to be 21 plus. Well, Flaming Boar, I don't know how they've done this. They have set up a daycare center in the bar. And what they've done is they took out the old Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, yeah, Fellowship of the Ring pinball machine that nobody had used, I think, since like 2007. And they threw that in the dumpster or something. And now they have a corner of the bar cordoned off so you can put miners in there. Now they have a rope up there. I put a rope, you know, around the children. And uh, so that's to let you know that 
beer cannot go past those ropes. You cannot take alcohol past the rope and to the children. It's just a manila rope. It, I checked it out, and I, I was like, damn. And uh, their, their bouncer at Flaming Boar currently is a guy named Ben. Benny. Ben is a terrible bouncer. He's small, weak, cowardly. And that's bad because there's a lot of fights at the Flaming Boar. Flaming Boar has about an average of three to four fights a day. That's including weekdays. On weekends, on a rowdy Saturday night, we're talking about up to 12 or more brawls breaking out between 4 and 2 a.m. 4 p.m. to 2 a.m. And Ben, he don't stop him. He just sits at the bar. He just basically drinks for free all day. And a fight will break out. He'll, he'll go like this. Like, hey, stop. Knock it off. That's Ben. I just did Ben's job there. Now, once the fight's done, because either the, all the f combatants get tired or killed or too injured to continue the fight on, uh, Ben will go over and mop up the blood and collect the teeth off the floor. But he's a terrible bastard. I was talking to him, I said, Ben, how are you going to prevent the, the brawl from spilling over into the daycare section? That rope is not going to stop him. He said, I got an extra rope. So if a brawl breaks out and you're concerned about your child, in a brawl you're in, because you're probably going to be in a brawl at some point, and you're fighting, you're like, oh man, I hope, I hope I don't punch my child, Ben will throw up a second rope, so there'll be two ropes across your child, therefore they'll be slightly pretty, but we both know, everybody watching this video, and I know, that brawl's just going to go fucking right over that rope, dude, they're going to fly right into the children, there's no, that rope's going to make things worse, because the drunk brawling's going to trip over that rope into the kids, so, you know, it's just, it, I, I can only imagine the chaos that's going to happen now, because of this daycare system. And I, I, you know, I couldn't believe this happened, but they were telling me this is another story. I don't know if I told you this earlier in the last time Flame Boar was a sponsor, but they had some wolves get in there. Somebody left the back door open and wolves ran in. Yeah, we got a wolf problem here in Ravensdale, Cumberland area. I get wolves every now and then. I had a wolf take a huge shit in my yard. Now, you know, animals always shit in my yard. I had a big ass black bear take huge shit. I mean, massive shit in my yard. Like, damn. So that's Flaming Boar Daycare. Thanks for $25. Really appreciate it. Hope you get a better bouncer because I do not support Benny. So, what am I here for? Now, this is a little old, I know, but what the hell? I open up Classic Packs. This is a Classic Pack now. No, it's not. It's Battle of Legends Relentless Revenge. Um, another reason I'm opening up this late is obviously that this came out when I was at Nats. At Nats, you can only buy it for full-blown retail value at $96 a box, I think they were selling. And I was like, I'm not going to pay $96 and haul it all the way back to Washington. I'm sick as fuck. And then my locals has not had it since that weekend. My locals, for over two weeks, has not had Relentless Revenge. So I had to order this off the internet, which is fine. You know, I order a lot of stuff off the internet. Um... Uh, but anyways, I, you know, the only card out of here I know that's worth a lot of money is the Golden Castle Stromberg, which is hilarious, a real card, because in the anime, it was supposed to be, like, an unproduced card, you know what I'm saying? But, but anyways, uh, really hoping to get this, uh, this, uh, Castle Stromberg. There's really nothing else. I've got a Gumblar Dragon. It's probably the best card in this, in this set. Uh, there's really good reprints that I like. I like the Unizombie. Finally, a holographic. I, I like the Eater of Millions and the Cyframe Driver. Those are really nice ones that I'm aware of in here. I don't know what this is in here. Gamma Sales the Secret. And I think somebody said Monster Reborn's in here. And I wonder if that's the original art. Like, original art for TCG with the fluffy ball. Or if that's the new Forbidden Art. I can't imagine it's a Forbidden Art. Why would they do that? Um, yeah, that's about it. That I can think of. Got uh, Duke Devlin's Boss Monster on the front. I'm sure that's fucking awful. Uh, Gumbrower Dragon's good. Got a new Borload in here, but he sucks. Um, I'm just hoping to get that castle and a Gumblar. That's really all I'm hoping for. What was the last one? Light's Revenge. Now this is Relentless Revenge. I guess it'd be a once a year set. It's always be Battles of Legend where they try to print off anime cards. Uh, anything going on in the future? Next week is Sneak Peek. By the time this video goes up, Sneak Peek better already happened. I'm extremely super, super excited for the Danger cards. I've been testing them immensely online with Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, 
and they kick ass with Dark Worlds and Shadal. So I'm really looking forward to that archetype. I mean, I'm really excited. So anyways, guys, you know what we got to do. We have to enjoy the beer we have because it's getting drank up in record numbers because of this heat. It's not as hot as it was in Texas, but it was like 80-something degrees in Ravensdale yesterday. Right now it's like 79. So anyways, guys, I am going to head over yonder. I'm going to open up that box. I'm going to rip open all of its contents, and let's do this together. we got to stay cool together. It is hot as fuck. Let's get drunk! All right, let's get on in here. Battle of the Legends, Relentless Revenge. Uh, it's interesting they could not keep the name Cinderella for the uh, Cinderella monster. I don't know why. It must be copyrighted by Disney or something. Weird. Let's get in here and let's see if I can pull the Golden Castle of Stromberg. Yeah, it sucks Sunday. I just laid in bed all day. I did make it out of bed to go to In-N-Out Burger, which I've never been before, and I really enjoyed In-N-Out Burger. Sick as fuck with the flu, and I wonder how many people I got sick. I shouldn't, you know, you only get people, you're only contagious when you actually don't feel sick. So I wonder how many people I got hella sick a couple days before I left for Dallas. Probably a lot. All right, here we go. Let's get in here. Never seen most of these cards. I know this pack's been out a couple weeks, but... Oh, they're in the front. The new uh, cards in the front. Triggering Worm. Ugh, Cyber... Uh, Teleton's in here. Cyber Larva and World Legacy Heart. Wow, they're putting that recent of a card in here. Should I read every single new damn card? I mean... Triggering Worm, and it's a dragon. I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep the really the really good cards up there. The cards that are interesting. I'm not interested in Triggering Worm. Looking for Stromberg, Flying Elephant, Kriston Quandrax, Slash draw, that's from the anime, that's interesting, does it work the same? Discard one card, sell top card of your deck from the graveyard, equal the number of cards your opponent controls, and draw one card and show it. Ugh. Really take a discovery, damage juggler ultra, nice. Oh, this is the Time Lord, I actually played against Time Lords at Locals last time I played, and they got fucking wrecked. I didn't even understand their strategy, you know what I'm saying? Like, the guy was playing, and I was like, what are you trying to do? And he burned me for 4,000, but at that point, he's already dead. I'm like, okay, cool, he burned me for 4,000, you die the next turn. Merlin reprint, how about that, Merlin? Litmus Doom Ritual, Iron Hans, there we go. If this card's summoned, you can special summon one Iron Knight from the deck. Also, if Golden Castle Stromberg is not on the field, it's not in a field zone when this effect is all you got, special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn. Huh, you can only use this effect of Iron Hans once per turn. Give that for each Iron Knight you control while Golden Castle Stromberg is on the field. Waterfront, nice. Dark Lord Enchantment. Okay. <laughs> I guess I need a reprint. Merlin. Man, I haven't seen that card in forever. Why why they get to say Merlin? Is that not copyrighted by Disney? Infinite Machine. Tenma, Tenma the Sky Star, almost Sky Striker. It's like Trick Star Baby here. Torrential Tribute, nice. Kaiju Files, Perform Age Damage Juggle. Juggler, or whatever. That card was so good when that card was new. I struggled against it last Saturday at Locals. A guy was playing it in Light Sworn. I was like, damn it. Hibernation Dragon, look at this crazy thing. It reminds me of Mecha King Ghidorah, but it's act it's oh it's hideous. Bagusca Ultra in the house. Fire Rex the Elemental Lord. This is the first reprint of that card. Yeah, that card was a secret rare to Cosmo Blazer and everyone hated it. Cyber Larva and Dark Lord Contact. Man, these ultras are so ugly for the Dark Lords. The secrets look so much better. Dark Lords is a really pretty deck when you have when, when you put it all together. That's one of the prettiest decks in the game, I think. All the Dark Lords look really good. Whoever did the Dark Lord artwork, another infinite machine. Foolish Burial Goods is being reprinted again. It's been reprinted three times in one month. Rainbow Dark Dragon, Perform Age Damage Juggler, and another Burning Time Lord. Yeah, what was I going to say? I don't know why they're printing Foolish Burial Goods so much. Must have something to do with the Sky Strikers. 
Because that's the only deck I think that uses it. I haven't seen them use it, honestly. I mean, people are playing with it for a while, but I don't think they do anymore. Ooh, nice. That's what I wanted. We'll put that guy down. Dreadnought Dreadnoid. Naruto. Ten of the Sky Star, Wonder Magician, getting ready, getting you ready for the uh, Never Criston Needle Fiber, Gaia Sy Saber, the Lightning Shadow. Why not? All right, let me read this guy. Who is a rank four? I love rank fours. Rank fours and eight are my favorite. All right, number twenty-seven, Dreadnought Dreadnoid. At the end of the battle phase. This is two plus level four monsters. This card destroys an opponent's monster by battle. You can special summon from your extra deck one rank ten or a higher machine XYZ monster by using this card face up card you control as material. Nice! You can get Gustav Max out on this fucker. Okay, whatever the XYZ is treated as this. You can use only use the effect of number 27 once per turn. If this face up card on the field will be destroyed by a card if I can detach one material from this card instead. Huh. That's not half bad. So it's basically got a number 101 effect, number 101 effect there uh, at the end. I like its artwork. It's a good looking monster. Huh. Yeah, I guess you just use it to make Gustav Max or uh, what's the other one? Dora? Super Dora? I don't remember what Super Dora does. It doesn't it have like 200 more attack or 200 more defense? I don't remember. I always go for the Gustav Max. Living Fossil. <laughs> this is from the show too. Activate this card by targeting one level four lower monster in your graveyard. Special summon equipped with this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Even if this card has left the field. When the, this card leaves the field, banish the equipped monster. The equipped monster loses a thousand attack and defense. Also, its effects are negated. You can only activate one living fossil per turn. Why? I don't understand why you play that card. Pre preparation of rights, ultra, nice. Trick clown, ultra, finally. Neospatian Air Hummingbird, randomly, and Cyber Larva. I like that Trick Clown. People can finally get on the Ultra on that, instead of using the Common. That's a good one. All right. Get that Dreadnought. Elemental Hero Honest Neos, another Pyrorex. Cyber Elitinen. I never liked the artwork of this card. I've always thought it was disturbing. Guy is Saber the Lightning Shadow, and Bombless Trap Hole reprint, because we need more. Uh, I don't think my locals is running out of bottomless trap holes, so uh, good, I guess. I don't know. You know what they're always out of is um, they're always out of like Shadal windows. They're always out of those monsters. I don't know why. It's like, ooh, look at that! Super rare Phantom Knight nice Silent Boots. Oh, Neo Space and Grand Mole. I guess Neo Space is getting a TCG exclusive support for the sneak peek. So it makes sense that's in here. Noble Knight Medrot. Noble Knights are getting uh, support. TG Wonder Magician and Dark Lord Contact. Still going here. <clears throat> Running wild. Oh, a Dark Lord Ixchel. It's a secret rare. <laughs> Litmus Doom Ritual, World Legacy Discovery, Iron Knight. There we go. Loses a thousand attack when you control Iron Hans. That's weird. If this card on the field is destroyed by battle or something the graveyard by a card effect, you can add one Iron Hans from your deck to your from the, your deck to your hand. Or if Golden Cast Stormer is on the field, you can add one warrior monster from your deck to your hand instead. Oh, any warrior. Nice. Convert Contact. If you control no monster, send two Neospatian monsters, one from your hand and one from your deck to the graveyard, then draw two cards. That's not new, is it? I don't remember. Alright, so the only cool card I've gotten that's new, that's also cool, is number 27. Hoping for the Golden Castle or Gumblar Dragon. That's the one I really... I mean, I I, I bought a Gumblar Dragon. Criston Quandox. Why is that? Unizombie. Nice. That's a good-ass altar reprint. Where's the Dermillions? Unending Nightmare. Wind Rose, the Elm of the Lord. And Born from Draconis. I don't remember that card. I wonder if that's new. See, a lot of these cards are probably so shitty, they probably reprinted first. But I've never seen them played, so... I'm trying not to talk about the danger monsters. Whoa, this pack's like backwards. What the fuck? Check that out. The packaging's backwards on it. The sleeve to rip it. That's so weird. Why would that be backwards? I've never seen that before. Infinite Machine got a playset. Banishment of Dark Lords, Iron Hans, Duelist Alliance, and Litmus Dune Swordsman. Kind of reminds me of Vega from Street Fighter. Whenever I see like a guy with a mask on, that I always think of Vega. Especially if he's got, like, swords and claws. Of course, Vega, we always say, McClure. I don't know where I got that from, but it must have been from the arcade. 
some Dio and Clear. Tornado Dragon, nice. That's a good reprint there. I support that. Was this already reprinted in Omega Ten though? Tornado Dragon is like my favorite ex like uh, favorite TCG exclusive for a long time. Really good card. Trick Clown, Psalm Judgment's back. Look at that. There we go. Uh, another Flaming Time Lord and Kyoto Waterfront. Speaking of arcades, I don't know if you guys ever heard the song Freeze Frame by Jay Giles Band from 1981. You should look it up. It's not that great of a song, but it's not bad either. Um, I remember I was playing an arcade in like 2001. I was playing Third Strike, and this arcade, they don't even have arcades anymore, but this arcade had a jukebox in it, an old-style jukebox, where you would, um, it would actually lift the, the, the record up and put it on the, the needle, and the needle would cause the record to spin. It was 25 cents per song. It had old songs, you know, now they're ancient songs, songs from the 1980s. And, um, the Jake Isles Band's Freeze Frame song got, someone picked that, I don't know why someone paid 25 cents to listen to that song, but it got stuck, and it played Glass Slippers. Oh my god. I, I gotta finish that story. Uh, and it played for three hours straight, and the owner of the arcade, he stepped out of his office, and was like, damn, them kids really like Freeze Frame. They've been playing it for a couple hours now. And then another hour passes, so three hours total. So two hours, he's like, what the fuck? And then three hours go by. He walks up and realizes that it's jammed. And we never change it. We're like, ah, fuck it, it's just playing, because otherwise it's just no music. We're like, ah, just let it go. Just let it run. Just let it play continuously. And he was like, he... <laughs> He came out and he looked at that and saw that that thing had been playing continuously for free for three hours. Like, damn it, kids! And he, like, elbowed the machine and it, like, rattled it loose. And uh, he's like, why didn't y'all tell me? And he went back in his cubicle or office or whatever, and it was pretty hilarious. So I know that song pretty damn well. So Glass Slippers, Freeze Frame, look it up, Jay Giles Band. Their best song is Centerfold. That's my favorite Jay Giles Band song. They're all retired now, I think. If this card is equipped to a fairy monster, it gains a thousand attack. If this card is equipped to a non-fairy monster, it cannot attack. Also, it loses a thousand. If this card is sent to the graveyard because the equipped monster is destroyed, you can target one princess and you control. Equip this card to that target. You can, one, you can only use the glass slippers once per minute. Imagine this in, uh, in uh, Trickstar. You can put it in there, and I'm going to put that down. I like that artwork. Put that down. Space Aqua Dolphin. You can put that down, and... Uh, Make your Candina 2800 beater. Imagine the brick hands with that. Fuck. Glorious numbers. Nice. Psalm Strike is in here? What the fuck? Banjo the Dark Lord's Pumpkin Carriage. Princess and you control can attack directly. Your opponent cannot target Golden Castle Stromberg. You control with card effects. Also cannot be destroyed by card effects. Born from Draconis. Man, Psalm Strike's in here? That's insane. Obviously, it must be short, but I only got him one. Glass slippers. They're cute. I'll, uh, I remember in the anime, she'd kick her shoes off and hit you in the face with it. Oh, there it is. A monster reborn. Nice. That's sick. You and a zombie. Unending nightmare. Trickstar and Arcissus and TG Wonder Magician. Where is... Uh, isn't Trickstar Reincarnation in here? Yeah, I'd like to get that. Monster reborn. Nice. Is that the first time it's ever been a secret rare? I don't remember. It's never been an ultimate rare. I know that. That'd be a sick ultimate. Monster Reborn. I'd be all over that shit. Monster Reborn. Or as they say in the first few episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh. Reborn the monster. Dark Lord x -Gel. Preparation of rights. Summon dice. Born from Draconis. And Sandadion. Sandadion. The Time Lord. What's this one do? If this card battled, it like 2,000 damage to your opponent. Okay. Okay, so it just does 2,000 damage to your opponent. So basically, Time Lords are supposed to burn. I heard it's an okay deck if you build it right. Like, I was looking at it online when they announced all the cards. Glorious numbers. And, oh, there's an Eater of Millions. Nice. I love that monster. Dark Panthers in here. Noble Knight Brothers. They, I must have put these Neo Spacian in here because they're actually making a Neo Spacian TCG exclusive support card. Uh, but the Time Lords, they're an okay deck, really. Um... I mean, they've gotten a lot of support in the last couple of years, so it's amazing. At one point, they only had two cards. Now it seems like they've got, like, 20-something. I know it's not that high, but damn. Card Trooper Secret, Narita the Moral Leader, Slash Draw, Duelist Alliance, and, oh, what's this one do? Ra Raffion. Looks like a Ninja Turtle, almost, like Raphael. Uh, this card battle like damage your opponent equal to the attack of one monster opponent controls this bat. Yeah, see, they all, they're all, it's a burn deck. 
That's an interesting ass uh, deck now. I, I almost kind of want to play with it. See, this one's backwards too. What the fuck? I almost kind of want to play test with Time Lords just for shits and giggles, but I got enough time for that shit. Infinite Machine. Wow, so many of those. Alder Guys Manifestation. Induct. Rural Legacy Heart. Damage Juggler. Juggling. Yeah. What else we got in here? A few packs left. Ooh, look at this. This is a sexy bitch. Hex Trude. Damn. Look at that body. I'm like Ryan right now. So this is an adult woman. Ryan likes kind of like the, we're not really sure. What do they call that? A trap? Is that for transgenders? I can't remember. Hex true. If Golden Castle Stromberg is on the field, you can normal summon this card without tributing. Once per turn, if Golden Castle Stromberg is in a field zone, you can target one card on the field except this this one. It's funny to say except this one. It's usually except this card. Destroy, and if you do, this card can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. This turn. Then this card destroys a monster by battle. You can target one phase of that monster you control against four attack. Nice! So it can target itself and attack again at 3,000. That's not bad. Putting that down there. I mean, a little tough to summon because you... You can normal summon it, right? Yeah, just a normal. It's not a special, so it eats up your normal. Banner of the Dark Lords, Iron Hans. I almost said Time Lords. TG Wonder Magician and Gaia Saber, the Lightning Shadow. I actually like this monster. A lot of people are down on it, but I, I like normal monsters that come out of the extra deck. They're just beaters, like uh, Gem Knight Pearl. I used Gem Knight Pearl for years with Dark Worlds because I always had Skill Drain, and you'd overlay a beige, like a Trans Arch Fiend, and they're like, what well, the fuck you do when you got Skill Drain? And here comes a 2600 beater out of Gem Knight Pearl. It's awesome. Empty Machine, Narito the Moral Leader, Ten of the Sky Star, Pumpkin Carriage, and Trick Star Narcissus. And the last pack. Can I get a Golden Castle Stromberg or a Gumblar Dragon? Here we go. Whoosh! No, another Infinite Machine. I got five of those fuckers in one box. Baguska the Terribly Tired Tapir, Pyrox of the Lore, Pumpkin Carriage, and Born from Draconis. So. Pretty shitty box, ain't gonna lie. I mean, that card's good. I know people want Dreadnought, Dreadnoid. Uh, there's like a rank three people want, too. Uh, I don't remember what he does, but he looks pretty crazy. It's like a big shadow monster. Uh, anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed my stories. Story time with Lucky Lance. And... Uh, Really hope that you, I mean, I like this artwork. It's so simple. I like cards like this where it's just the monster and up like a background behind it. I really like that stuff. I don't like when there's like tons of shit going on. Even though Baguska's pretty funny. Where is he? He's right here. Look how tired he is. He ain't drunk. He's just fucking tired. He hasn't slept in three days. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed opening this box. I've been waiting a long time to open it, you know, because yeah, I had to order off the internet, wait for it to show up, and then I had to find time to do it, but I found some time. Really hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry I've been gone for a while. By this time this video uploads, I hope you all have forgiven me. Um, just every single thing you guys type out in comments and likes and views really tickles my heart. I don't get much of any of that, but I really enjoy doing getting what I get and uh, you guys are all special to me not that kind of special I love you guys but I don't swing that kind of way unless you're a girl which I'm obviously I'm with somebody already so I'm not interested but thank you kindly and uh, if you guys like the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up I want to see more of this stuff go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified immediately that I've uploaded some qu content finally I know you've been like god damn did he die no I'm not dead I'm right fucking here Go ahead with that bell icon for the bell tolls. I'll let you know immediately upload some quality content. And you will be able to watch it instantaneously on the subway car, where the fuck you're at, if they even have subway cars. I've never rode a subway car before. The closest thing I've ever rode a subway is like airport, like the SeaTac Airport's got a train. It goes a little bit underground. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry it took so long to upload another video, but I'm back, and I'm going to try and upload more often again. I've got to get back in the groove of things, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in a couple days. Peace!